and welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And as you probably saw from the intro at the beginning, um, I had uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, and a lot of people are uh, familiar with those two names. And, you know, if you think about technology, you normally think about those two people because they're very recognizable and they have made a huge impact um, on the computing and technology world as we know it. You know, um, back then, you know, being a geek or a nerd, it wasn't something that people aspired to be or even thought was cool or in. But nowadays, it seems like being a geek or being a nerd is uh, the in thing to be. It's really cool. And it's mainly because of all the technologies that we have around us and also the enormous amount of success those people in those areas have uh, made and accomplished. But, you know, being a geek and a nerd, uh, you probably have other names that you uh, are familiar with, especially if you're a gamer. You know, if you're a gamer, uh, names like Shigeru Miyamoto, Yu Suzuki, Koji Igarashi, um, even for myself, uh, a composer that I really loved back in the day uh, was Yutsu Koshiro. Um, and then if you're a PC gamer, you'll be familiar with names like Chris Roberts, who did the Wing Commander series, Peter Molyneux, the creator of the God Games, starting with Populous, um, or, uh, you know, if you really love internet technologies, obviously the creators of YouTube, Chad Hurley, uh, Steve Chen, and uh, Jaweed Kareem, you know, they're the ones who created YouTube. And uh, founders of Google, Larry Page, Sergey Brin, the founder of Android, Andy Rubin. The list goes on and on, you know. Um, but the one name that uh, comes up consistently in the geek hemisphere um, is going to be Linus Torvalds. And if you're not familiar with who Linus Torvalds is, um, it's, he's actually the founder of Linux, uh, the Linux kernel specifically. Now, there's another name attached to Linux. The actual specific name is Linux GNU, G-N-U. And GNU part is actually Richard Stallman, who is uh, the proponent and founders of all the GNU public licenses. You know, he's really, really big on free software, not open source, but free freedom software. And so that's another name, but Linus Torvalds, um, he's had such a huge impact. And if you're not familiar with what Linux is, I have a lot of videos on those. But basically, Linux, Linux powers everything. I mean, from your, uh, your desktop computers, to your supercomputers, to your appliances, you know, I mean, to your refrigerators, your microwaves, and uh, even uh, to all your uh, networking appliances. Uh, like your Wi-Fi routers, uh, your home security systems, it powers everything, and especially your phones, because the biggest place where Linux is in, that's uh, mass consumers, is on your Android phones. So there's over a billion plus Android phones run on the Linux kernel. So uh, with that being all said, uh, I watched this really, really uh, cool uh, TED talk with Linux Torvalds, and it was a really, really interesting piece. And uh, I'm going to leave the link below, but uh, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, talk about the video next and some of the things that I found really, really interesting and insightful about this very, I would say at times, he even says it himself, he's not a people person. So he's kind of a reclusive founder. But, you know, how he lives and how he sees things is probably a lot different than what you would expect of somebody who created something so amazing and so powerful. Uh, so. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, get to the video, and we're going to talk about Linux Torvalds. So uh, if you go on YouTube and you type in Linux Torvalds, or you could just type in Linux, you'll probably see this video on top, you know, the most, this most recent one. It's actually done by uh, this channel called TED Talks 2016. It's a recording of the TED Talk uh, with Linux, and I will leave the link below there. So uh, I really suggest you go watch it. So, there are many, many uh, videos available, interviews with uh, a lot of technology people, okay? The famous most being is probably the Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates interview with Walt Mossberg in uh, 2007 at the D5 conference. You know, if you haven't seen that, uh, it's, go check it out. Uh, it, it's, it's a really definitely one of my favorite interviews of all time uh, but coming back to Linus Torvalds in this particular interview I'm, I'm going to be talking about the main highlights of the interviews the parts that um, I really like um, and this is you know out of all the interviews I've seen with uh, Linus uh, this is 
this this is goes up there because he talks about many things you know most of his interviews that he has they're very uh, technical it's a lot of q a uh, but this one um it really gets into who linus torvalds is so uh this is an interview with chris anderson and i'm gonna skip through parts of it but like uh, the majority of the beginning of the interview talks about how uh, Linus came up with the idea for Linux. You know, he's actually from Helsinki, Finland, and he created Linux in uh, 1991. And uh, he created it out of necessity. You know, a lot of these uh, software empires or, or just uh, any of these business creations, and this wasn't really a business thing, but anytime these things are created, they're created out of necessity. And what Linus wanted at the time, he wanted a Unix-like operating system that he can use. Now, there were other variants, um, you know, like uh, the GNU one that uh, Richard Stallman created. There was a SUS Linux and um, a SUS Unix. And, you know, Unix was created by AT&T, Bell Labs, back in the 70s. And it is the most used operating system for uh, main... Uh, big servers, you know, a lot of your banking systems run on Unix. And so at the time, there wasn't a Unix version that he could use. He was going to school at this time. And so uh, he found one uh, through a college professor who wrote a book. His name was Andrew Tenenbaum. He created an uh, operating system, a Unix-like operating system for schools called Minix. And so out of that, you know, uh, Linus took that and turned it into Linux. Now, obviously, at the time that he created it, it wasn't what it is today. Um, Linux, as of today, it is the single largest operating system, used operating system in the world. Okay, so that's more than Windows, that's more than Apple, Mac combined. And at the same time, it's also the largest open source community driven project in the entire world and um it was really interesting when you know he he talks about it you know and and linus you know his style he he is uh he's not you know a personality type in terms of what you expect you know uh, when you think about somebody who created something so amazing and so impactful like for example you see interviews with Steve Jobs, it is completely different from an interview with Linus Torvalds, okay, it's completely different. And so um, at the beginning, you know, you, you learn a lot about how he came up with the idea uh, of this particular operating system. And when he did release the operating system, uh, he did use the uh, GNU GPO license uh, from Richard Stallman. Uh, so then, you know, you need that license to uh, freely distribute this. You know, this is primarily for copyright uh, legal stuff, you know. And Richard Stallman, he created that so then you could freely distribute this piece of software and people can modify it, you know. So um, that was the GNU part of it. You know, you needed that GNU GPO license and it was the GNU GPO license version 2. Um, so that's how that came about. And so, yeah, so the whole first of the interview, he talked about how Linux came about, the idea that he had for it. And then uh, the middle of the interview, this is this is the part that I like a lot because a lot of people in the geek community, they know about uh, how, you know, how uh, he came up with this idea and so forth. But um, I don't remember exactly where in the video, but he talks about his upbringing, you know, how he is, you know, he, he mentioned this many times, he is not a people person. And he even talks about, you know, when he was younger, he would ignore his younger brother, not ignore him, but he was more interested in what was going on, you know, and, and you see the interview, what he's talking about. He had a younger brother and a sister. And so um, that, that was a really nice side of Linus Torvalds that you don't really see much where he talks about his personal uh, upbringing, okay? Now, as, as you go forward, you know, he talks about other things, but uh, I like the fact that they get into the programming aspect of it. You know, like he mentions many times that he is a programmer. And one of the things that they talk heavily about is taste. Okay, and what he means by taste is a programming taste. I mean, Linus Torvald, he is a programmer. And he is a very vocal programmer. So he will not hesitate to tell you that your programming or your code sucks. In this case, he showed an example of a linked list. And here's the taste part 
where he talked about this is bad coding, you know, to where uh, that if else statement, that's bad programming. And then he compares it to um, a tasteful version. Uh, let me see if I could get there. Where uh, it doesn't have the uh, the if else statement. Oh, well, you see, yeah, right here. This is the, the taste version. This is a version of code that he would approve and he would like. And so uh, it's really funny that he talks about that, bringing out his core computer engineering extremely geeky and nerdy side you know and this is very simple code but he was just using that example and then uh you know near the end of the interview he talks about you know the commercial side of it you know of linux you know and also how companies are using it and also the extreme importance of open source you know what it means how it's used and uh, you know whether it's commercial or not and also how it impact the world in the future you know now and in the future and he also spends time talking about his uh philosophy in terms of uh you know he talks a lot about his personality where he's not a people person and he also talks about uh his his thinking you know uh, primarily what he thinks about edison versus tesla and you know people in the geek and tech community in their community uh they, they refer back a lot to that and also he talks about visionaries you know and a lot of people would argue that Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, they are definitely, definitely visionaries. And, you know, Linus openly admits he is not a visionary. I love his example in the interview where he talks about visionaries. You know, they're looking up in the sky, looking at the stars, wondering how do we get up there. And he says he's the type of guy who's looking at the pothole in the ground is like, how do I fix that? And I really, really love that. And um, that that is a, that is just one of the many things that he talks about in this interview, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I do watch a lot of TED Talk videos, and a lot of them are a lot of that. Very visual, very inspirational. But, uh, you know, just hearing Leonard Torvalds talk, uh, and once again, his personality comes through, it, it's, just, it's, it's just funny. I mean, it's funny, it's amazing, it's all those things. And it's not what you would expect of somebody who uh, founded an empire, you know. And it is funny, though, at the beginning of the video, they talk about that, you know, where this is the Linux empire, and it shows a picture of where he works. You know, he works in his home, he works by himself, and his business working attire is actually a bathrobe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not something you would expect of a, a Steve Jobs or Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg. It is just absolutely a, a very uh, funny, entertaining, insightful, interesting interview. So uh, that is uh, basically this video about it. Um, I would definitely recommend that you go watch it. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave the links below. And so let me know what you think about this interview or you think about Linus Torvalds or Linux or, you know, even the Mac OS or uh, windows you know let me know what you think put them in the comments below and i'll see you on another episode thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode